Hi everyone, welcome to our 30 day learning Oracle Golden Gate Classic Architecture Training. Today is day one. My name is Ashish, Ashish Agarwal, and I'll be delivering this lecture to you. So before commencing the session, just a quick round of update regarding my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Ashish Agarwal underscore GG. So if you haven't visited the channel, I would request you to do visit the channel and do like, share and subscribe the channel. The channel is dedicated to Oracle Golden Gate related videos. Thank you. Now I'm going to answer. There is a question among a lot of people. What are different available architectures in Oracle Golden Gate? So let me answer those. So Oracle Golden Gate basically, initially when it was introduced, it was introduced as Golden Gate in 1995. In 2009, Oracle overtook it. And since then, it is known as Oracle Golden Gate. Now, until 2017, there was only one way to go with, one way to set up or configure Golden Gate. And that was through command prompt GGSCA. So, GGSCA is available. GGSCA prompt is available since Golden Gate initial days. Right? So, until 2017, it was called as Oracle Golden Gate. In 2017, Oracle renamed it to Classic Architecture. So, Classic Architecture means Traditional Architecture. Okay. Now, Classic Architecture is a command prompt based, GGSCA based architecture, which is available for both Oracle as well as non-Oracle database. Okay. Now, Oracle Golden Gate Classic Architecture allows you to set up, manage, troubleshoot, configure Golden Gate through command prompt GGSCA. GGSCA stands for Golden Gate Software Command Line Interface. Okay. Now, remember one thing. 21C is the last version where Classic Architecture is available. Post 21C, Classic Architecture has been deprecated. Okay. For, the, for some of you, this may be the news as well. Now, there in 2017, when the existing architecture was renamed to Oracle Golden Gate Classic Architecture, they launched a new architecture of Golden Gate, which is called as Microservices Architecture. So, Microservices Architecture was introduced in Golden Gate version 12.3. So, this is available from 12.3 onwards. So, it allows you to set up, manage, troubleshoot, configure Golden Gate through GUI as well. So one of the feature of your Golden Gate microservices is GUI. Okay. So Golden Gate microservices allows you to set up, manage, troubleshoot, configure Golden Gate through GUI. It allows for better integration with cloud applications. So microservices, Oracle Golden Gate microservices is a new REST API based architecture, which whose one of the feature is GUI. Now, Oracle Golden Gate microservices until 19C was available only for Oracle database. So you can configure Oracle Golden Gate microservices if you are using Golden Gate version less than 19C. You can, you can use only Oracle Golden Gate classic architecture. For, so, so basically, if you are if you have any other database apart from Oracle, you can use an, until Golden Gate 18C. You can only use classic architecture for that. From 19C, support for Golden Gate MSA was extended to five databases as well. Okay. So five databases which include MySQL, DB2, SQL Server, and Postgres apart from Oracle. Okay, so from 19C, support for Golden Gate MSA is extended for five databases, which includes MySQL, DB2, SQL Server, and Postgres. Okay, so just to give you an overview, until Golden Gate 12.2, only classic architecture was there. Okay. From 12.2, from 12.3 to 21C, 
both classic and microservices architecture coexist. So basically, you can use any of the two. From the late, the new, the newest version of Golden Gate after 21 CS 23 AI, which has been launched recently. So from 23 AI onwards, it's only microservices. There is no classic architecture from 23 AI onwards. Okay, so microservices architecture is the future of Oracle Golden Gate. Now the thing is, if you still go out into the market. 80% of implementations are still on classic architecture. I should say 82%. However, microservices is the new architecture. As of now, the presence of microservices architecture is 18 to 20%. But Oracle has planned to upgrade 40 to 50% of implementations by end of 2025 to microservices architecture. Now, The thing here is in classic architecture, there are processes which runs. So classic architecture is process based architecture. However, microservices is service based architecture in which there are different services which runs. So the basic difference between classic and microservices is classic is traditional architecture. Microservices is new type of architecture okay and microservices is future of oracle golden gate now there is one more product in golden gate family which is called as oracle golden gate very data how many of you had have heard about it so very data is a separate licensed product which is part of Oracle Golden Gate family. So when you go out for anything related to Golden Gate, any job support, anything related to Golden Gate, any question issues will come from these three things only. Classic architecture, microservices, and very data. None of the question will go out of these three things. Okay. So what is very data now? So very data is a product as the name suggests. It verifies the data for you. So Golden Gate is a product which replicates the data. Now Golden Gate is a product, with, it is a technology where error can come. Where say for example, some of the transactions were not applied. So you want to check how many transactions, how, like what are the data discrepancies on the target database in comparison to source. So what you can do is, you can run a very data job so very data is used to find the data discrepancies between two objects and can repair them as well. So very data is used to find the data discrepancies among the objects and then if required, it can repair those discrepancies as well. Okay, so these are the three things which constitutes Oracle Golden Gate environment. Classic architecture, microservices and very data. So very data is a product whose latest version is still on 12.4 something. So very data is still on 12C. Very data connects to source and target database. It supports Oracle as well as non-Oracle database like SQL Server, MySQL, DB2, Postgres. Okay, so you just need to connect with your source and target database, then run the repair job. It's, uh, sorry, then run the data discrepancy. Then go to the job when it gets completed, find the data discrepancies. And then if required, it can repair it as well. Repair means whatever discrepancies are identified, very data can repair them as well. So Oracle Golden Gate comprises three things. Classic architecture, microservices, and very data. So related to Golden Gate, any question, anything comes from these three things. Classic architecture, microservices, and very data. Okay, now my question to you, which I regularly face is, so guys, whatever question I ask, I've already gone through those questions. So that's why I pose that question to you. So my question to you is, with introduction of this uh, microservices, does integrated no longer exist? So with the introduction of microservices, so we see there is classic architecture. You must have heard the term classic a lot. But with the introduction of microservices now, does integrated no longer exist? 
what do you think no it exists it do, it exist okay okay so let me answer it in the next slide now the thing is in golden gate there are different types of extracts and replicate which you will be understanding in the next session when we discuss, discuss about architecture of golden gate so in golden gate there are different types of extracts and replicate so how is golden gate able to capture the data from transaction logs and write it to replicate process so the answer to this question is golden gate either captures or receives the changes from the transaction logs the, the 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 golden gate process is called as extract and how does golden gate able to apply the data on the target database using the replicate process so these are the two types of processes you have in your golden gate and one so there are different types of extracts available so integrated extract was launched or introduced in 11 to 04 golden gate and database 11 to 03 so integrated extract is the one which was launched like it is the latest one classic architecture basically was renamed so initially when golden gate was launched there was only one type of extract and it was called as extract once integrated was launched they renamed it to classic architecture okay so different types of extract which include integrated extract which is 11 to 04 golden gate and database version should be 11 to 03 okay then there is classic extract which is supported now remember one thing with multi tenant architecture which is container pluggable classic extract is not support you have to use integrated one now different types of replicates which are present in oracle golden gate environment is non integrated or classic replicates so when golden gate initially was there it was called as replicate once integrated replicate was introduced the existing was one was renamed to classic replicate okay now there are different types of replicates like non integrated or classic replicate then you have integrated replicate for configuring integrated replicate your golden gate version to, should be minimum 12.1 and database should be 12c then coordinated replicate was launched in 12.2 so coordinated replicate is to make, make or run multiple threads of your classic or integrated extract then you also have a parallel replicate in your environment so parallel replicate is a feature which was introduced in 12.3 so there are two types of uh, there are two types of parallel replicates one is parallel replicate running in non integrated mode and second is parallel replicate running in integrated mode okay now what type of replicate you have to choose so the answer to this question is i always prefer you should be choosing the latest one so parallel replicate is the latest one so i would suggest you should be choosing 